Welcome back to the next of the manipulators. What I've got here are a couple of double numbers, num1 and num2, that I'm going to divide just to get a nice double number. And then show that we can actually print these guys out. If I do it just as it is and run it, you'll see that I end up with 23.2437. What the default is for, for C++ in this context is six digits of precision. One, two, three, four, five, six. So no matter what I put up here, no matter how many digits of precision I add to this, in terms of the storage of the numbers, I still only end up with six. If I want to modify that and show more digits of precision, there's actually a modifier called set precision. And it takes as its argument into its function how many digits you want to show. So if I say two digits of precision and run it, you'll see that I get 23, just the first two. If I change it to five digits of precision and run it, I get five digits. If I change it to nine digits, like magic, I get nine digits of precision. So this thing right here tells the standard output stream, basically the stream modifier, that from now on, whenever you display a number, print out nine digits of precision. So if I just print number one, which only has this many digits, you'll see it only gives you as many digits as it's got. It, it, it won't add more stuff to it. So if I take the larger number, I get nine digits. I get to the nine, or six nine, which is really basically rounding what's left out here. If I change this to 10 digits of precision, it's six eight, and then seven eight rounds to eight. So this is happening very, very nicely to, to show you that what's going on is you're changing the precision, but you're changing it not just for the first one, but for the second one too. If you need a different precision for this one, then basically you have to go into this and add a precision that you want this one to show at. And now you'll see that your numbers show as they're supposed to. But there's a catch. Look what happens to this very, very precise number when I make it too small. If I try to get too few digits of precision here, this thing all of a sudden goes into scientific notation, which is almost the, the default for things that get small. It's just the way C++ works. So to fix that, I would have to change what I'm printing out. Now, in the case of this number here, that would be bad because we really don't want that too much. But there's a catch. The precision... Um, modifier that will help change this is to specify instead of allowing this scientific notation to exist, we want to force it into what's called fixed notation. Now fixed notation works a lot like um, set precision left and right in that once you say it, you never have to say it again unless you want to change it to something else. But if I run it with fix, that's telling us use a fixed decimal point, always show the decimal point, and then give me a precision of two, two digits after the decimal point. So watch, look what happens when I move this guy up here. And I'll just take it out here just to show you how this works. The standard precision is 10, so I get 10 decimal points of precision. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Down here, I get 2 decimal points of precision. 1, 2. So what you're looking at here is this standard fixed forces the decimal point to show, regardless of whether it has it or not. If it's a, if it's a whole number up here, it would still force it. And then it's going to force this many digits of precision after the decimal point. And that's how fixed and set precision really start to come into its own, own, own realm there. There is another one that's called show point. And show point is a, again, a stream modifier that says if you've got a whole number that is a floating point number and it's stored as, say, 10, show the decimal point. 
which then forces the precision to now come into effect and show you what comes after. So show point, standard fixed, are stream modifiers along with set precision that last until they're changed somewhere in the, in the output modifying section, somewhere where you're printing something. So just remember that the only one that doesn't do this, the only one we've shown so far, has been set width, where set width works on only the next printed thing. Everybody else tends to stick around and show you how to adjust things. Now, a combination of all this is really nice when you're trying to print things out. You may want to use a left modifier to put a label to the left, and then a right modifier to line up the numbers on the decimal points to the right, and you only want to give it two decimal points for something like money. And this is where all these modifiers come into play to show you how we can manipulate output to make them pretty. Hope you're having a good day.